This is London's Ministry of Sound, and DJ Anna Kiss is combining new technology with old. She's mixing CDs, which are digital recordings, with vinyl records that are analog. We can't see sound waves, but when a microphone records sound, it generates a changing voltage signal that can be seen on an oscilloscope. The wave changes continuously and is called an analog signal. This machine etches a version of the original recording onto a master disc. The groove is a continuous copy of the analog sound wave. And these machines press that groove into vinyl records. The stereo groove is split into two parts, left and right. When the stylus vibrates in the groove, it generates an electrical signal in a record player which recreates the original sound wave. Got the high frequency can be seen as this very sharp line either side and we've got left and the right hand side of the groove, which is left and right of, the, of your stereo music. And then as the disc turns around, the very low wobble is the bass, which causes the needle to vibrate at a much lower frequency. But vinyl is fragile and easily scratched. This is a vinyl record magnified many times. The scratch has cut into the groove and has made the record unplayable. CDs are more durable because they store a digital version of the original sound wave. This digital code is created by taking samples of the analog wave. The values of the voltage at these points are converted into a binary number, which is made of only zeros and ones. On a CD, this binary is stored as millions of tiny bumps arranged in a spiral track. As the CD rotates, laser light is reflected from the bumps. These reflected pulses are turned into on or off electrical signals, which are then decoded by the CD player to produce sound. Digital technology has transformed the way we store and retrieve music. The digital revolution has changed the way I DJ. It's so much easier and quicker to buy music now. I mean, I haven't bought a record probably for about a year, but I still play the older stuff. I mean, I bought a few tonight to play. Playing with vinyl is a real tactile thing about it. You know, people love the feel of it and the sound of it's good. But, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to move with the times, and that's, that's you know, what a good DJ should do.